Hey everyone, Chico and I, we're just having a lazy day. It's pretty shitty here in Edmonton. It's uh, 14 degrees out, middle of fucking August. Just horrible. So today I think though we're gonna uh, we're gonna make some brownies with all that cannabis oil that I made up, and uh, I tracked down a recipe just from uh, Martha Stewart. So she better not let me down. Got lots of lots of hope for uh, Martha Stewart recipe here. And uh, so we'll give it a shot with the cannabis oil that I made. Roughly I figure my cannabis oil's got about 10 mg's of uh, CBD and THC per mil. And so rough calculator brings out the recipe to about uh, just under 1600 mg uh, total for the whole recipe. So we'll kind of see if it does much. I've, uh, I've tried the tried the oil, like I say, a few times, and I haven't really felt the high, but uh, maybe some other benefits, like some better sleep and stuff, but I just can't determine if I feel like I'm getting a high, and even, even drinking 15 mils of it didn't really uh, seem to do too much. Maybe there was something, so uh, so we'll see if the recipe does anything. It gives us a little punch with the brownies. So, uh, so I'll put everything up, all the recipe ingredients in that, and uh, follow along. Thanks. Puff. I'm in the kitchen, got my apron on, got all our ingredients out. I'm trying to make some Martha Stewart brownies. So uh, first thing we're gonna need it, we'll need our cannabis oil that we've made, and uh, you'll need two thirds a cup of cannabis oil. Um, we have one and a half cups of flour, two cups of sugar, four eggs, three tablespoons of cocoa, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of chopped pecans, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I've kind of get all my ingredients out. Makes it a lot easier when, uh, when I'm kind of doing all my baking, so I don't have to fumble around doing my measurings, and uh, kind of start mixing things together. So to start off, first thing, we're gonna need to uh, preheat our oven to uh, 350. So we'll get the oven going. Get that preheated. Always important to make sure your oven's Heat it to the proper temperatures before you start your uh, baking. So we'll let that get going. Um, the recipe calls for a 9 by 13, um, but I'm gonna actually going to try it in a 9 by 9, and maybe uh, they'll just have a nice thicker brownie to them. Um, so with the uh, with the pan, we're going to butter the pan first, and then we'll put that to the side also. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a large glass bowl. And uh, we're gonna sift our flour and our cocoa and our baking powder together. Um, the recipe says to sift, and if you know anything about baking, I wouldn't uh, shrug it off and not do it. It is uh, can be a pretty important part of the uh, process to sift that out. So I just I don't have a sifter, but I do have a nice little uh, strainer thing. I think it's gonna work just fine to kind of fluff up the baking material. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of sift those. And we're actually do the salt too. I don't think the sifting will do much on the salt. It's pretty fine. And uh, it should be good. So we get those sifted. We're gonna have to deal with that later. And uh, it's always nice to keep your kitchen clean when you're cooking so uh, you don't kind of mess things up. Give you lots of room. Uh -huh. So we'll put those to the side for now, and it's nice to have those done first, so while I'm mixing, I'm not uh, having to do two things at once. So next, we'll take a medium bowl, and uh, we'll throw in our, uh, our four eggs. I've already kind of cracked the eggs already, separated them, make sure I had no eggshells. And uh, on low speed with the uh, paddle, we will uh, beat the eggs. Once your eggs are kind of uh, even consistency, we're going to add our uh, cannabis oil and we'll need uh, two thirds of a cup of the uh, cannabis oil. C 
see that. Nice and dark. It's got a strong, strong cannabis smell, so I'm sure the brownies are gonna be a little flavored. Um, so we have our cannabis oil, and we'll add our sugar also. And, uh, and uh, I think I'm just gonna slowly add the ingredients in. So I'll add like a little bit of sugar in there. Just on low, just beating it on low. And we'll add a little bit of oil. And uh, it says we're gonna beat it for about 10 minutes, so. I'm gonna slowly add this. Just kind of gradually mix it in. So we'll just keep continuing that on low, just for about 10 minutes here. So we're just kind of coming up to the 10 minutes here. And kind of looking like uh, more of a honey mustard than anything. Let's see if I can uh, get you guys a shot of this. Here it is. It's kind of a real syrupy, honey mustardy color mixture. So we've kind of got our two mixtures up here. We will uh, slowly add in our, uh, our sugar and our chemical oil into our uh, dry shifted flour and cocoa. Um, and we'll just kind of slowly mix those together. So you don't want to over mix your stuff. Um, playing with your baking materials can uh, kind of give you some disappointing results. So uh, here we're just trying to get a nice mix in with everything. And then uh, we'll just kind of stop. So uh, this is just kind of a nice chocolatey looking brownie mixture. And we're just gonna stop there. Um, we still have our uh, teaspoon of vanilla to add. It's really bubbling now. Let me see the vanilla. I think I was a little short on that measurement. Okay. And also, our pecans. So now we're just going to kind of Take our pre-battered, buttered pan, and uh, we'll see how much this pours into. Hopefully it's not overdoing it. I don't expect it to rise much, so. So here we are, guys. There's the brownies. So uh, we'll get those in the oven. Ooh, we said 350, but I'm actually... I stand corrected, guys. I'm gonna have to cool down my oven. It said 350. But that's actually pretty high for cooking the can of stuff, which I'm surprised that it would be that high. So I'm actually gonna turn down my oven to about 310 and uh, just open my oven up, try to get that to cool down a bit. If uh, I've read if you go too high over about 320, 330, it could kind of uh, kill, kill, uh, cook off the cannabinoids. Is that right? I don't know if I said that right. Um, so I'm going to turn mine down a bit. It may increase my baking time a bit. So I've just got it at 310. And it uh, sounds like I should take maybe 
maybe about 45 minutes we'll kind of uh, take a look at it kind of use a toothpick and see kind of if they're looking good um, and uh, we'll also have the icing to make up so turn down the oven 310 and uh, they're ready to go in so we'll slide them in there for about 45 minutes so the brownies are done at uh, 45 minutes at 310 seemed to seem to be pretty good um, I've just kind of had them chilling here for a few minutes while I got my other ingredients ready for the icing and uh, for the icing you're gonna need an egg uh, two teaspoons of cocoa two tablespoons of melted butter and two and a half cups of uh, icing sugar and I've already shifted all of my icing sugar and I've got it broken into three bowls um, I've got one cup in two bowls and half a cup in another and they just kind of have it uh, kind of gradually mixing in the icing sugar so uh, just kind of broken up a little easier for myself and we'll get things started and sorry also a teaspoon of more vanilla extract first thing we'll take our egg and throw our egg in and we'll take one cup of the sugar and on low speed we'll beat, beat the egg bit and uh, just kind of add our first cup of icing to it. Now we kind of got a nice little uh, consistency with the first cup and the egg. We will add half a cup of the confectioner sugar and our two teaspoons of our uh, cocoa. Again, just kind of mix those uh, last ingredients to a good consistency again and uh, looking kind of nice and nice and chocolatey now and last we'll add our last cup of icing sugar our two tablespoons of butter and our one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract and if, you, if you're lucky and you got some can of butter you can actually replace the uh, the butter with some can of butter. Unfortunately, I don't have any. So, uh, it's off to do without. Um, but maybe it'll be a nice little uh, mix up between the uh, cannabis brownie and just some good, uh, some good chocolate icing. And so we'll mix that up. Mmm, that looks pretty good. We'll set that aside for now and uh, we'll get, clean up a little bit and grab the brownies. So the last step here, we got our icing all made up. Brownies, just kind of got them on a cloth. They're still a little, a little warm underneath. Mm. Actually, you know what? Nah, let's do it. And uh, we're just gonna give them some icing. It's, it's been a while since I've had to do some icing here, so we'll see this. Give it a taste here. Mmm. Really kind of icy and sugary. There we go. There's our cannabis oil brownies. Martha Stewart style, so I'll let those chill for a bit and then uh, chop them up and give them a sample. Alright, got my first bite, first impressions. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That was good. Not much of a cannabis flavor. Mm hmm soft and chewy. Cut them up into nine slices. So I figure roughly each one's about 200 mg. So we'll see in a couple hours. So it's been the next day. 
We've uh, kind of tested our brownies out yesterday that we've made, and uh, let's say they've been all right there. They kind of felt a little bit, had pretty good sleep, <laughs> so let's say they were all right. Um, if you recall too, though, if uh, you watched my uh, video when I made the oil, the uh, MCT oil, uh, you'll recall that uh, the strain I used with the Argyle, so it is only a, a pretty light strain. Um, so I figured the brownies came out about 200 mg's per piece, um, where if it was a higher strain, they would I figured they would have been came out to uh, pretty close to about 500 per piece. But with uh, the weaker strain there, it's a little less. Um, but it does have a fair bit of uh, CBD in it too, so it has a bit of a benefit. So. I don't know, the brownies came out pretty good, I say. Um, pretty good recipe. I'm not much of a, of a strong chocolate person, um, so the recipe for the brownies came out really light chocolate, which I really liked. Um, like I can say I'm not, I don't like the strong chocolate stuff myself. So, so I'd say that was a pretty good success. So uh, let's keep an eye out in the next few days or so. Should have another update video on the grow. Um, and if you're if you're in Canada and your province lets you grow. I think you guys should get your tent going. What are you waiting for? Come and grow with us. It's a pretty good experience, pretty fun, nice little hobby. And you don't need anything fancy like you've seen in my pre previous seasons. So uh, I think you guys should all get a tent, and pick up some seeds and just throw them down. So thanks for watching guys, take care.